Okay, everyone, are we ready to continue with chapter 3 in Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within? Well, either way, we are going to. Right, Mr. Dreamer guy, we are back with Gabriel, and, um, uh, let's see, yeah, we're gonna read the newspaper before we do anything else. It looks like there's been another wolf killing, and this one occurred last night in downtown Munich. Right, it says that the uh, murder wolf struck in uh, downtown. Struck again in downtown? No, nah, something. Uh, the latest and most gruesome attack, yada yada. And the people are angry and upset and concerned. And scared. Well, let's just go over there. We also have something to pick up at the, at the post office, or at the uh, lawyer's office anyway. Vereinbaren sind am besten mit meiner Sekretärin. Gut, ja, danke. Ah, oh, I was hoping you'd stop by. Um, I have a package for you. Really? Uh, yeah, this is one. Must be from Gertie. I trust this morning finds you well, Mr. Knight. <sighs> yeah, I'm lucky it's found me at all. You can call me Gabriel, by the way. Oh. Of course, call me Harald. Um, Harry's okay too. Thanks, Harry. I don't have anything else to say right now. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. Let's leave him to do his job. And um, we can uh, look at what we just read. March 18th, 1994. Gabriel, you might as well know, I'm in Rittersburg. I wasn't about to sit in New Orleans and let you have all the fun. Besides, if it goes anything like last time, you're gonna need my help. I've been doing the research Gerda said you wanted. Enclosed is a book you might find useful. It looks a little outdated, but then I've never dealt with werewolves before, so it's hard to be sure. There's also some werewolf history right here in town. 
I found some clues pointing to a werewolf called the Black Wolf. He's cropped up in a couple of places, including here in Rittersburg in 1750, and in association with Ludwig II, a Bavarian king that died in 1886. It's all ancient history, I know, but something tells me that it is relevant. I'm not sure where to go from here, except to look into Ludwig II. Ask around about the Black Wolf in Munich and see what you find out. Also, let me know if you want me to research Ludwig or join you there. I'm sending this to your lawyer, but I'll need to contact you directly. Send your address and phone number ASAP. Herr Huber is being stubborn and won't tell me. Be careful and write. Grace. Damn it, what the hell is Grace doing here? At least she's off in the ozone somewhere. Black Wolf, Ludwig II. She's really losing. Yeah, um, just a little aside, by the way. Uh, city names ending with Berg. It matters whether uh, it is written with an E or a U. And with the uh, American pronunciation, it's um, often difficult to tell the difference. I don't know uh, any place name where that could actually be a confusion. Uh, but I mean, uh, when it ends with, well, when we have a bird with a U, it me typically means something like a, a city or township of some kind, and a uh, berg uh, with an E uh, implies it is located uh, on or near a mountain or a hill. Anyway, that, that is all about that. Let's uh, let's have a look at the, at a crime scene. Why not? We'll get some gore in here. Oh, oh wait, no, no. Actually, we are uh, supposed to talk to the lawyer. Apparently, uh, according to the walkthrough, and then we're supposed to buy a cuckoo clock. Huh. These 90s video games, man, they were a thing. Ah, uh, Gabriel, come in. Hey, Harry. So, now that we have something to talk about, let's talk about things. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? But naturally. Have you uh, been running into him much on your tour of Munich? Running into him? Any dead? <laughs> yes, yes, long dead. But he is still everywhere, like your um, Marilyn Monroe or uh, Elvis. He is the Bavarian enigma. So what's the big deal about this Ludwig guy? <laughs> they call him the fairy tale king. Uh, he's very romantic and mysterious, you know. He built castles and now they are huge tourist attractions. Castles? Where are they? Oh, uh, let's see, um, Herren Chiemsee is about three hours southeast. Uh, Neuschwanstein is southwest of the border with Switzerland, about two, two and a half hours. Um, I can have my secretary draw you a map, if you like, but um, most German maps have them already marked. Uh, no, no thanks. Uh, I wasn't thinking of going myself. But it does seem like a harmless enough activity for someone else I know. So this guy's just a dead king, right? And these castles are just out in the countryside, hours from Munich. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Sounds a bit peculiar. Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? No. Uh, sorry. That's all right, I'm sure it's nothing. And that appears to be everything. Let's uh, I'm off. See you, Harry. Go buy a cuckoo Goodbye. clock. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, this was actually difficult. <laughs> That's not a thing you expect to say a lot, but yeah. And buying a cuckoo clock in this game, it's a challenge. Uh, 
Because it wasn't in here, was it? Oh, huh. yeah. This should be the place. Hello. Grüß Gott. And I remember what I said about uh, sound design. Maddening much? I'll just try to get Authentic to Black here. Forest Cuckoo Clock. Maybe. To, to, to wake up, you, you know, in the morning. Uh, An alarm clock. Yeah, yeah, alarm clock. Yeah, richtig. Yeah. How much is it? Wie viel? 60 marks. Sixty marks in the uh, 90s currency. Not super expensive, but still... Um, a bit yikes. Uh, Gabriel, where keep your wallet? Not there. I'll take that woodpecker clock. Sixty marks, Peter. That's all right. I'll take it as it is. Bitter. I would not want to work in such a sound environment. So let's go and do what we are actually supposed to be doing for once. They're busy. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Mm -hmm. have some action going on here. Guess I figured out where last night's killing took place. Right, I actually missed a few points here in my playthrough. But let's be uh, studious gamers and uh, save first before we do anything. Uh, I failed to speak to this guy. Isn't that the detective from the paper? Commissar Lieber? I don't think they'd know much about it. Uh, we have some evidence for you lot. Commissar Lieber? My name is Gabriel Knight. I need to discuss some evidence with you. What do you want? I'm busy here. I have some evidence here that uh, contradicts your Zugul's theory. I was wondering if maybe we could discuss it. Look, I don't know who you are or what you think you're doing, but I don't have time for this. Yes, sir. Well, so much for that. Looks like a television news crew. Well, they may be interested in some evidence. Are y'all with the news? I have some information you might find of uh, interest. You're an American. That's right. And you believe you have information about the mutilation killings? I do have some information, yes ma'am. I was about to discuss it with the commissar over there, but uh, he seems kind of busy. I thought I'd speak with y'all instead. Nun gut, was soll's? Dreh schön, Dieter.
Wir befinden uns am Tatort des bis jetzt letzten besorgen Todesfalles, der durch die Killerwolfe herbeigeführt wurde. Mit mir befindet sich ein Amerikaner, der offensichtlich wichtige Hinweise bezüglich dieses Mordfalles hat. You believe you have information about the wolf killing, sir? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I do. I was about to ask uh, Commissar Liebe over there some questions, such as why animal hair found at the crime scene is reddish brown when the escaped zoo wolves were gray. Er fragt, wieso die Tierhaare am Tatort rötlich braun sind, wie doch die entlaufenen Zuwölfe offensichtlich grau waren. And uh, how come paw prints found at the scene indicate an animal much larger than the zoo wolf species Canis lupus lupus? Und er fragt, wieso die Pfotenabdrücke am Tatort viel größer sind als die der Zoowölfe. How did you get this information? Well, oh. All right, you have my attention. Now, who are you? Well, I'm Gabriel Knight, the American novelist. I've been by your station to see you, but uh, funny thing, they, they would not let me in. All right, I'll see you at the station later, but only if you agree to get out of here and not talk to the Puez. You got it. Well, um, you successfully attracted the attention of the local police department. Well done, Gabriel. Now let's go and see what's up at the hunt uh, hunting lodge club thing. Good morning, Herr Knight. I'm afraid there's no one here at the moment. They're all busy with their daily tasks. You are, however, welcome to use the club. So I've been informed. Thank you, Xavier. You're so kind. Mind if we chat for a moment? Anything to be of service, sir. Spicy. So, tell me about the club. What about it? How long has the club been around? Since 1970. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the old Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge? It's older than that, isn't it? The Königke Bayerische Hofjagd Loge is ancient. This particular form of it is new. Hmm. Well, it is strange that it was established so late. That is true. What happened in 1970? Baron von Glauer came. He brought a new vision. The lodge had nearly died out. Hunting is not so popular as it used to be. Were you here when von Glauer joined? Baron von Glauer. He hired me later, in 72. How many members are there? There are five now, not including you. I'm not sure of your status. Five? You mean the men that were here last night make up the entire club? Quantity is not an overriding concern with us, Her Knight. The Baron personally interviewed and approved each new member. Despite your own experience, this club is extremely exclusive. Not everyone would fit in. No, I don't suppose they would. How often do the club members go hunting? As a group, once a month or so. <laughs> once a month? <laughs> Hell, I thought y'all were hunters. Back home, you don't get out there and spill a little blood at least once a week. The other men start looking at you funny. <laughs> Organized club hunts are once a month. Members can use the club's lodges anytime on a more casual basis. And they frequently do. So 
So, uh, tell me about the club members. I don't gossip about our members, Herr Knight. <laughs> gossip? <laughs> With you? Please. I've never met anyone as obviously discreet as you. Thank you. Bet you could drop a load if you wanted to, though. You probably know more about what goes on around here than anyone. True. At least I used to. But with all these new people coming in, I'm not sure I know anything anymore. All these new people? You mean I'm not the only fresh blood? No, Herr Dr. Klingman was only accepted a few weeks ago. Really? Who brought him in? I was not in on the discussion, so I really couldn't say. But I'm sure there was more thought behind his acceptance than yours. Hmm. Right, so Dr. Klingman became a member um, just a few weeks ago. That is um, a bit sus. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? No. Alrighty. Straightforward answer. All right, Xavier. Thanks. Let's see, is this the bit? Uh, yeah. Okay. We're going to be doing something that uh, requires uh, uh, well, not, pre not exactly precise timing, but it is time sensitive and being so late in the episode, let's just save it for the next one. Stay tuned.